Alongside Dr. Jill Biden during tonight's address, an Ohio woman fighting passionately for veterans' rights. Sandusky native Danielle Robinson is keeping a promise to her late husband, who survived war zones only to die an agonizing death back here at home. For years, the government denied its toxic burn pits made service members sick. As Isabel Lawrence tells us, their stance may finally be changing. And that all our hard work for the last four years has paid off. We are keeping our promise to Heath. Wearing the army jacket of her late son-in-law, Susan Zier boarded a plane to Washington to join her daughter, Danielle. It's a day they prayed would come. His dying wish was to be able to have um, better health care for soldiers that were coming down with these illnesses um, later on when they got back home on the home front. Heath Robinson died in 2020 from a rare form of lung cancer, becoming the latest in a growing number of service members and veterans to experience unexplained illnesses like breathing problems, autoimmune diseases, and rare cancers. The common thread? Burn pits. Football-sized fields in war zones where the military burned everything from chemicals, weapons, electronics, even body parts, with no safety precautions for military personnel stationed close by. We're going to get you the legislation you guys need to be taken care of and taken care of well. Care that has been denied for years because the Veterans Administration and military have refused to connect the vast majority of health issues to these toxic waste dumps. The issue is personal for the Bidens, too. In 2016, the president's son, Beau, died from brain cancer, also believed to be caused by toxic burn pits. If passed, House Bill 3967, the Honoring Our Pact Act, will grant presumptive benefits for any soldier who served in any of the countries where burn pits were maintained and who contracted one or more of the qualifying illnesses. The bill could be voted on as early as tomorrow. Heath Robinson is on the minds of many tonight. So I think we're honoring his dying wish right now, tonight. Danielle Robinson's invitation didn't come directly from the White House. Former Daily Show host and activist Jon Stewart tracked down Danielle at work yesterday to represent those impacted and suffering from illnesses caused by burn pits, Laura. Wow, what a story. All right, Isabel, thank you so much.